Welcome to Pure Happiness Coffee. First and foremost, I want to make clear my extraordinary gratitude for the fantastic response I've received after releasing episode one. I'm truly humbled that so many of you have been so kind about this new direction in the world of pure happiness. And it is your enthusiasm and encouragement, your kindness and love that keeps me going. Pure Happiness Coffee is a poem, an artwork, and a community dedicated to becoming better stewards of our world's favorite beverage. Each episode of Pure Happiness is a short glimpse into one individual's coffee journey, a journey that finally connects us all. Today on Pure Happiness Coffee, I want to give you a brief overview about the form, content, and structure of this podcast. That is, what can you expect to hear by subscribing? One of the reasons I want to do this is because so much of what I do at Pure Happiness Coffee, it being a poem and all, is a little bit different than what you might usually expect. And I want to be clear about my intentions from the start. In addition, while I have a plan for upcoming episodes, I also want this podcast, like Pure Happiness Coffee overall, to be open to evolution and change. This is fundamental to all my thinking and activity. Precisely because the coffee world is so complex, I think a complex aesthetic approach might be a new way to think about it, learn about it, and participate in it more skillfully. That's why I've been releasing videos, holding events with producers, writing collaborative poetry across the United States with many of you, photographing events, and everything else. I even made an interactive coffee narrative video game. You can check that out at the link in my bio. So I invite you to plunge into this complexity with me, guided by the sure hand of poetry. There are at least two forms this podcast will take. First, short, under five-minute episodes that are transformations of my Instagram posts into audible content. Second, longer form stories and interviews, kind of like episode one, on a particular subject or interacting with a particular coffee person. For the first episode style, I am diving into my written archives to renew the work I did the first couple years in Pure Happiness Coffee. What this means is that I will be transforming my Instagram posts into listenable content so that you can experience Pure Happiness Coffee in a new context and I can retell this story from a new perspective. Those posts were about cafes I was visiting, coffee I was drinking, people I was meeting, and events I attended. They are often highly poetic, even philosophical. My current intention is not to attempt to make these posts a continuous narrative, because I view the whole world of coffee more like an energetic, vibrating constellation of synchronous activity, more than it is one consistent narrative. So it's a vision of the coffee industry that reflects its own prismatic essence. These episodes will fall into a few major categories. Reviews of coffees, reviews of cafes, records of events I attended, highlighting individuals in the coffee industry, highlighting producers and thoughts about coffee growing countries and regions, and sometimes just straight poetic meditations on tasting and thinking about coffee. I wanna say a note about my form and version of a review. I view my reviews not really as, hi, I like this coffee or I don't like this coffee. This is what it tasted like. This is what it made me feel. Uh, rather, my reviews are poetic meditations on the coffee in a philosophical, poetic register, often dealing with geography, history, cosmologies, um, and other details about the coffee that maybe sometimes we wouldn't allow into a review. However, I believe it is by thinking more broadly about what a coffee is that we can all begin to think about the industry a bit differently. Maybe some concrete examples will help. For instance, this week I will release a series of episodes. The first will be a poetic review of Colombian producer Alexander Vargas Osorio's Pink Bourbon from Huila, Colombia, roasted by Tropicalia Coffee out of Colombia. This coffee was included as the featured coffee for an issue of Standart Magazine. If you don't already know Standart, definitely head over to their Instagram or website and check them out for some of the best print journalism in coffee today. The next episode is a reflection on an event with Alexander Ruiz of Standout Coffee that was held at Drift Coffee Maker Soho in May 2022. I think documentation of events is important because so often these ephemeral gatherings are lost to history, and I want to remember these important moments for what they are. 
the active forming of social webs that persist to this day. Next, I will release an episode about Verb Coffee in Boulder, Colorado, a cafe and roaster who I visited in March of 2022, just as they were opening. I love Verb, and I hope to return someday. And I hope you all are doing well. Verb was one of my earliest champions, so to speak. And when I wrote this review, they asked if they could print out a copy and hang it in their shop. I don't know if it's still there, and it doesn't matter either way. But that amazing request, beside bringing me to tears, really motivated my continued exploration of this poetic review style. As you will begin to see, my version of a coffee and cafe review is a bit, well, singular. And this episode is a great example of how that sounds. Next, I will release an episode about my first meeting with Macarena Anamalia, one of my favorite avant-gardists in coffee. She is an artist, a poet, a curator, an educator, a brewer, and an all-around brilliant coffee individual with a spirit all of us can learn from. I want to state once again that from the beginning, Pure Happiness Coffee has been a poem. So what you're going to get from this podcast is not just informative, that being said, as these few episodes demonstrate, tuning in will definitely inform you about roasters like Tropicalia and Standout, producers like Alexander Vargas Osorio, cafes like Verb Coffee in Boulder, Colorado, coffee publications like Standart, and more. At the same time, you'll be receiving my poetic vision of coffee, a vision that is as wildly prismatic, chromatically amazing, and elusively complex as coffee itself. So to conclude this episode, I'm going to hop right into my poetic review of Alexander Vargas Osorio's Pink Bourbon, roasted by Tropicalia. August 13th, 2022. Tropicalia Coffee and Alexander Vargas Osorio. With megalithic volcanic force as vibrant as a crimson-backed tanager darting between branches of dragon's blood, this wonderful Colombian pink bourbon from Huila, grown by Alexander Vargas Osorio, roasted by Tropicalia Coffee, and included with Standart's recent issue, swept me off my feet and carried my soul on the back of a jaguar into the mountains of the Colombian Massif, the origin of the mighty Magdalena River, Colombia's largest and one of the world's most beautiful. Every morning for 20 years, Alex Vargas has awoken to the beauty of the misty cloud forest on the undulating volcanic surfaces outside Pitalito, Colombia. The symphonic song of thousands of birds accompany his morning coffee. For 20 years, he has been cultivating gems, pristine cherries that have condensed the rich and abundant natural resources and power of the region into a sparkling gleam of transreal magic. The Aguasores, part of a clade of basal amphibian mosasaurs, used to slink around these jungles in the late Cretaceous. Nearby, likely beginning around 600 BC, the San Agustin people cultivated the land hunted the forests, and constructed a fabulous landscape of monolithic stone sculptures. Here, at the world's largest necropolis, there stands the Doblo Yo, an enormous anthropozoomorphic stone totem of a square-jawed man with a crocodile-like beast clutching his head covering, descending along the fang-like shape of the monument down the man's back. Mythological funerary statues pock the landscape, relics of a sophisticated, creative, profound culture that strangely departed the region before the arrival of European colonizers. These surreal, hallucinatory beings still fill the valley and heights with magic and meaning, significance and power, and spiritual forces that swirl among the jungles, rivers, cloud forests, titanic mountains, and furious volcanoes. In this cup of coffee, for a moment, that Transtemporal force becomes actualized into a blazing experience of taste beyond understanding, beyond myself, beyond any convention, far on the other side of the human limits and vices that cause us to perpetuate gross and intolerable violences against one another. Here, in this cup, is poetry. Here, in this cup, is perfection. Thank you for listening. <laughs>